Hi, my name is Ashish and this is the first video of AZ203 Microsoft Azure development developing for Microsoft Azure and we're going to start with Azure functions. This is an introduction to Azure functions. Azure functions is a solution for easily running small piece of code or functions in the cloud. We can just write the code we need for the problem at hand without worrying about a whole application or the infrastructure to run it. Functions can make development even more productive and you can use the development language of your choice such as C, C hash, C hash or C sharp, Java, JavaScript, PowerShell and my favorite Python. Pay only for the time your code runs and trust Azure to scale as needed because you do not have to maintain the infrastructure like for Azure Web App, you create a web app, you worry for the storage, you worry for the infrastructure, you scale it, you set the auto scaling, you set these slots in this Azure function lets you develop serverless applications on Microsoft Azure without worrying to be the infrastructure to run it. You just have to worry about the application features. Well, the choice of language, as I told you, you can write functions to of your choice language, C sharp, Java, JavaScript, Python and any other language, pay per use pricing model, pay only for the time spent running the code. If your code is not running, Azure will not charge you. Bring your own dependencies, function supports, NuGet and NPM so you can use your favorite libraries. More on that when we will do the coding. Integrated security, protect HTTP trigger functions with OAuth providers such as Azure AD, Facebook, Google, Twitter and Microsoft account. Simplified integration easily leverage Azure services and software as a service offerings. Flexible development, code your functions right in the portal or set up continuous integration and deploy your code through GitHub, Azure DevOps or you can use Azure Pipeline as well. It is open source, the functions runtime is open source and is available on GitHub. What all you can do with the functions? You can set up an HTTP trigger. You can set up the timer trigger, execute cleanup or other bash tasks on a predefined schedule. You can set up the Cosmos DB trigger. We will do this when we'll do the practicals of Azure functions. You can have a blob trigger. You can have a queue trigger, event grid trigger, event hub trigger, service bus queue trigger and service bus topic trigger. So if you talk about blob trigger, it can process Azure storage blobs when they are need added to containers. You might use the function for image resizing, like you want to crop the image or you want to increase or decrease the pixel size of an image. You can have the event hub trigger respond to events delivered to an Azure event hub, particularly useful in application instrumentation, user experience to workflow processing and IoT scenarios. So this was the introduction and we will see how to create Azure functions and how to set up an HTTP trigger in the coming videos. I hope you like the video. If you have any queries, please mention in the comment section and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video and share this video as well. Till next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.